Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the message from the Divine Masculine today by Divine Guidance Tarot to bring in a message for you. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. And they've just made me roll my sleeves up. I feel like they are rolling their sleeves up today to get this done, you know, to reach out to you, to make changes, to end things in their life that need to end. They're rolling their sleeves up and that's a sign of getting ready to take action. It's a sign about getting ready to put effort in and hard work in. You know, that's what we do, roll up our sleeves. Okay, I'm going to do this now. It's giving themselves the power and strength to move ahead. So your person is saying, do you think we will come back together one day? Now, I feel the block in my throat. <clears throat> if you're going through blocks right now in your journey with them, communication blocks, blocks because you're not together, you may actually be doubting the fact that you're going to come back together. You may be shown signs constantly that you're coming back together. You may even have readings that you're coming back together, but your ego may be bringing up doubt. So I feel this is your person saying to you, do you actually believe, do you actually think we'll come back together one day? Because you have to believe it to receive it. And they may be doubting because you're doubting, because you are mirrors of each other. So ask yourself that question today. Do you think you're going to come back together one day? Because you are divine magnets. You belong together. And they also know that one day soon, they are coming back. They want to prove to you that they are coming back to you, that they are going to do the right thing and be with you because they want to text you so badly. They want to be around you so badly. I don't want to annoy you, so I hold you back. I don't want to annoy you, so I hold back. And this is what they're saying. I hold you back. I hold you back when I annoy you. I hold you back when I can't give equally to you. I hold you back. They're afraid that they hold you back and that's what they're working on. They want to roll up their sleeves and prove to you who they can truly be, the greatest version of themselves. And they do want to reach out. I want to text you so badly, but I don't want to annoy you. That's why they hold back. They don't want to get on your nerves because of things they may have done in the past or their own behaviour. So ask yourself the question, do you think you're going to come back together? If the answer is yes, then believe it because they do want to text you badly. Let them know in the 5D you're ready for this and you believe in the love. They're saying, I'm not speaking right now because I'm preparing to leave my karmic partner <clears throat> to give me a block. And that can also cause blocks in communication. They can block you or ghost or ignore you so they can get this done. And this is another thing I'm feeling. They are rolling their sleeves up. Because they are preparing to do what needs to be done. I'm preparing to leave my karmic partner. So I'm not speaking to you right now because I need to get the strength to do this. I need to do this without any outside input. And I don't want to annoy you by talking about the karmic partner. I don't want to annoy you while I'm in this karmic situation. So I hold back until I've left this person and then I can text you. So this is also what they are doing. I'm sorry I wasn't honest about my current relationship and situation. That was selfish of me. So they're apologizing if they've denied the fact that they were in a relationship with someone else or perhaps they were embarrassed to talk about certain things. So they're apologizing for hiding things from you. And they know it was very selfish of them, but they had to know you. They had to become a part of your life. They wanted to talk to you. And they felt if they admitted certain things about their life, you wouldn't even listen to them. So they are saying, I know that I need to leave this karmic partner. I know that I need to deal with my current relationship and my current situation so that we can be together. I'm sorry about hiding things and denying things. It was selfish of me, but I'm going to sort this out now. And I definitely feel this is also those masculines or you know if your person is in a karmic situation this is definitely them preparing to leave because they're saying I care for you both this is why this is very hard to make this decision I hope you understand and this doesn't mean that he loves this karmic partner and wants to share his life with this person it means he cares about them because he's shared time with them this person could be the the mother or the father of the children this person could be something they've had a long, long time with. 
and they care about them as a friend. They want them to be okay. And that's why it's hard. They may also be thinking about their children. They may be thinking about other people involved and they're saying to you, I hope you understand. It's very hard for me to make this decision. And that's why they haven't really opened up. And they're saying, I wasn't honest about my current relationship and situation because I do care about you both. I'm sorry if that hurts you, but recognize that I know what I need to do and I'm preparing to leave this person so I can be with you. So a huge message here about changes they are making. And that's why they're saying, I don't deserve you. I do not deserve you because of the things I've done and the way I've behaved and the way I've been selfish. I do not deserve you. And they're working on becoming their greatest version. Lifting up their sleeves, rolling up their sleeves, preparing. I talk about our connection to my friends to get advice. So they have brought you up in a conversation with friends, people they can trust. They may not have name dropped you. This the Friends may not know exactly who you are, but they have said, I want to leave my karmic situation. There's someone else I love. There's someone I, I want to spend my life with. And they've been getting advice. They've been getting advice on how to handle this, especially if they've already got friends who may have left partners before or people who even know the both of you. They may be getting advice if they do know you. So they are talking to get advice and they've been checking your social media often and they've seen you glowing up. Your glow up is mesmerizing. Your glow up. So they've seen you that you're doing well and they know that they need to step up and roll up their sleeves and get this done because if they don't, they're going to lose you and that's how they feel. And they're saying, I wish I could take this mask off from you. I'm so embarrassed of my lack of growth. And that's really what they're saying to you. I don't deserve you. I should be further ahead on my journey by now. I want to be more like you. I wish I could take this mask off and show you the real me. I'm just so embarrassed. And that's another reason why they can hide certain things about their life with you. Yes, they're being a bit selfish and by hiding those things, but it's more through embarrassment. Embarrassment because they're not where you are spiritually and they want to be where you are spiritually. And this is why... When you know in your truth that they will come back to you, this is when they get things done. So our faith in this love, they do want to text you so badly. They just don't want to annoy you or frustrate you because of the karmic situation or anything else they need to work on. You know, if they're still being a bit immature, if they still have debt they need to sort out, if they need to work harder in their life, if they need to get more money in the bank or they need to be more responsible or they need to heal an addiction, or if they need to take care of other things, they want to do that before they come forward, because they want to take the mask off, they get embarrassed about their own growth, because they feel very immature when they look at you, and I'm talking about spiritual immaturity, I'm not talking about age, you know, age is illusion, there's a lot of age gap connections in this journey, age is illusion, this is about them feeling embarrassed, because they don't feel like they are enough for you, and they look at you on social media and see you glowing up. And that also scares them because they think, can I live up to your light? Can I be like you are? And they think I don't deserve you. And sometimes they think you deserve better. So they try and stay away. But I definitely do feel that if they weren't honest about something within their current situation, they're not speaking to you about this right now because they're preparing to leave that person. And they do care. Okay, because they're not a bad person. So don't think, oh, they love me and them. It's not about that. It's never a choice between you and someone else. It's always about them needing to choose themselves. And when they do that, they'll always choose you. It's just that they may have spent a lot of time with this person and they want that person to be happy. This person, as I said, could be a father or a mother to their kids and they want what's right. They want to leave amicably. And that's why it's hard to make this decision. It's a big change for them. And that's why they've been talking about this change or talking about things to get advice from people they truly trust. So I feel your person is rolling up their sleeves to get things done. They truly do want to text you. They just don't want to annoy you with certain details of things. They want to deal with them first. But they are definitely going to reach out to you. And I feel that this about you knowing that they will come back to you one day and you will be together. So ask yourself that question. Do I actually think that we will come back together one day? If you remove the ego and the fear and the struggle and the karmic situation and you breathe and 
pull yourself back into the now, you'll know that the answer is yes. So yes, you will come back together and it will be in the right way. And they are pulling their sleeves up right now to do it the right way. So have faith in them and the love. And most importantly, have faith in yourself. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.